When you attach a drawing as an external reference, you create a link between the current drawing and the reference drawing. All of the geometry from the reference drawing can then be visible in your current drawing. But in order to see that geometry, you need to maintain the link. At some point, you may wish to dispense with the link and simply include all of the reference geometry in the current drawing. There can be various reasons for doing this. For example, at the end of a project, eliminating the link and simply including all of the reference geometry inside the drawing means that you won't have to archive both the current drawing and the external reference. You'll only have to deal with a single drawing file. To make the external reference geometry a permanent part of the current drawing, you use the Bind tool, which is available in the External References palette. Open the External References palette by clicking the small arrow in the lower right corner of the Reference panel on the Insert ribbon. Then, right-click on the External Reference file you want to bind and choose the Bind option in the shortcut menu. The program displays the Bind XREFS dialog. Notice that there are two options, Bind and Insert. Regardless of the option you select, when you click OK, the geometry from the external reference will become a permanent part of the current drawing. The only difference between the two options is the way that layers from the external reference will be handled. Before I bind the external reference, let's look at those differences. I'll cancel the command and then expand the Layer Properties Manager. Notice that in the Layer Properties Manager, I can see the names of the layers, both the layers in the current drawing and the layers in the external reference drawing. Notice that the names of the layers in the external reference look a bit different. They consist of the name of the external reference file, a vertical bar, also known as a pipe symbol, and then the actual layer name in the externally referenced drawing. When you bind an external reference to the current drawing using the Bind option, the layers from the external reference are added to the current drawing. The vertical pipe symbol is replaced with dollar sign, number, dollar sign, so that new, unique layer names are created in the current drawing for all of the layers being added. So after binding, you'll still see the same number of layers as you see before binding. But if you bind an external reference into the current drawing using the Insert option, the layers are merged into the current drawing. The external reference file name will be removed from the layer name. For example, notice that both the current drawing and the XREF have a layer called Doors. After binding the XREF using the Insert option, there will be only one Doors layer and any objects in the external reference that had been drawn on its doors layer will then appear on the current drawing's doors layer. Let's try it. Back in the external references palette, I'll right click on the external reference, choose Bind from the shortcut menu, and then in the Bind XREF dialog, I'll choose the Bind option and then click OK. Notice that the external reference no longer appears in the external references palette. Also notice that the walls and doors no longer appear faded since they are no longer part of an external reference. If I expand the Layer Properties Manager, notice that I still have the same number of layers as before, but the layers that had previously been part of the XREF now appear with dollar sign, zero, dollar sign, between the words XREF floor plan and the layer name. I'll use the undo command to return the drawing to the state it was in before binding. Let's try the other method. Again, in the external references palette, I'll right click on the external reference drawing and choose the bind option. In the bind XREFs dialog, this time I'll change the bind type to insert and then click OK. Again, notice that the external reference no longer appears in the external references palette. 
but this time when I expand the Layer Properties Manager, notice that I now see only six layers. The furniture layer already existed in the current drawing, and there was no layer with that name in the XREF. The doors and floors layers from the external reference file have been merged with the layers with those same names that already existed in the current drawing. The foundation and walls layers from the external reference have now been added to the current drawing.